Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead, and today is our 25th wedding anniversary day. And as cool as that is, we couldn't just leave it like that. No, we have stuff to do. Yeah, we gotta check fences and move cows and yeah. Yeah. It really is our 25th wedding anniversary, and we've got all kinds of cool stuff planned. Uh, I don't mean to make it sound like, eh, 25 years, whatever. No, we're not making light of it. We are going to be celebrating it. However, we still do have some work to do. Well, well we actually went to lunch, and we got some goodies, and then we've got a little mini vacation planned in a couple days. Yep. Uh, but for real, uh, we do have cows, really, to move. Yep. And so the first thing we got to do is the pasture that's behind us back, Yep, there. that one. That one. We got to check to make sure that everything electrically is still working and everything, all the connections are made and the yada yada and yippy skippies because we don't want any stray animals. So That's here bad. we go. Okay, so we've got our tools, we got our wire, hammer, pliers and thingies, and Claire here is going to be the foreman on the job. Tell us exactly what kind of leadership you want to bring to this adventure. Well, I really think unity is a huge uh, aspect of what working is. So if we're if we're united and for this common cause of fixing the fence, then it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I don't know. Sounds like a bunch of uh, hooey to me. Yep, bunch of hooey. If Claire's leading us, it's probably going to end up really bad. I find her leadership to question I do too. Questionable at best. This line right here is going through a really wet spot there in the center. So I don't know if it's a good idea to take the ATVs out there, but I'm gonna try to go around this patch that's a little bit higher. So could be internet gold, who knows? Holy smokes, that's really wet. And the power steering on these things, is just busted. It's not working at all. Ah, okay, so as we're working and as we're getting everything ready to go in a different pasture, we were just stopped by a neighbor saying one of our cows is out. Yay, fun for cows being out, yay. Okay, so the plan is we got the ATVs and we got Claire back there who is our secret weapon and she's got bread. And those cows seem to love bread more than anything, so we're gonna hopefully lure them. Let's do this. Looks like they busted through right there. Okay, cow. Claire's got the bread. Well, that one doesn't really like that that much. Just show them. Show them. Come this way, Claire. Let it go around you. Okay, now. Here we go. Just like that. Now, let's figure out why the fence isn't shocking anybody. All right, Claire, yep. tell us about your mad skills there. That was pretty impressive, I gotta say. Just had bread. Open the fence. They follow you, they'll yep. follow you wherever. Yep. If you give them the bread, and you, my dear, bring the bread. Boom! Oh, you rambunctious, nasty, wasty cow things. Someday, you'll learn your lesson. But actually, we're thinking and figuring out that it was most likely one of these two did it. And neither of them is fessing up. So, I guess, sorry, nobody gets dessert for a week. They're like, Whew, that was easy, great. <laughs> Just kidding, you can have dessert. Why, Nana, why? Why, Nana? Did you let the, you let the cow out? Was it you? 
say it ain't so, Neil. Well, one thing you can say is for certainty on a homestead, if you're really doing homesteadiness things, it's never dull, it's never boring. There's always something that goes cattywampus. There's always gotta be something, right? And we're out there tooling around and all of a sudden I'm in muck, like way deep muck and the power steering goes out. It's like, bam, and now I'm like struggling to make the ATV drive where I want it to. And we get on the phone with the genius folks that we got the ATVs from, and they say, check the fuses, pal. Check them now. So we're checking the fuses, and hopefully this is a simple fix because we really wanted to be able to ride around on our anniversary date night drive thing. Yeah. Okay, we think it's a fuse that needs to be replaced, and that's an easy, easy fix. Uh, but we still need to finish up with the cows, so we're gonna wrangle the donkeys in the barn so they don't come with us and get the cows out there. Make sure that the fence charger's working and Yeehaw! all kinds of fun stuff. So we're getting this old school fence charger hooked back up. It does work. We're just making sure all the who's it's and what's it's are connected and reconnecting the ground so that we don't have cows willy-nilly wandering about in the, in the forest like Hansel and Gretel looking for bread. And Claire is not very successfully. Oh, looks like she is, no. <laughs> Puzzle doesn't want to go inside even though Mama's already inside. Puzzle doesn't want to play. Puzzle doesn't want to play. All right, so Jonathan has so graciously offered to test the fence because we can't find the fence tester. Don't grab it with your hand, just touch it with like the back of your hand so it doesn't really like knock you down. Nothing. Oh boy, am I glad we didn't put these cows out there. Boo. Okay, so plan two. This thing, we came in here and after we plugged everything in and tested it, it's not flashing like it's working anymore and you can kind of hear a very faint thing. So I don't think it's working. So we're gonna have to see about a different unit. So we got another different fence charger here and it seems to be cracking away. We got our hot wire, we got our ground wire and that is going to a ground rod over there but also to the entire metal structure of this barn. So that should be a pretty darn solid ground. Okay, take two, here we go. We think it's working, and nothing. Oh man, now what? All right, we think we found the culprit, a wire grounding out on this post. Um, but also, we think that Jonathan's boots might have too much insulation property because he's grabbing on it pretty good there and it's not zapping him. Uh, we gotta go and test some more. Okay, so what we figured out is that this smaller pasture is actually feeding the entire property and there's something bad wrong out that way that we're not finding and we don't really wanna feed the whole property, just this pasture. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that tied in section off out there and hopefully that will figure it out because we can't put cows out here like this. Okay, so we finally wised up just a little bit and we found dun, 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 the electric fence tester. So here we go. We think we've got it. Let's give her a go. Let's give her a go, shall we? Anything? Almost 7,000. Woohoo! 7,000 volts? Almost. You can see the lights flashing? No, I do not. Oh yeah, I do. All right, one down and one to go, but we're in luck because we have a legend in the cowing world here with us to help and uh, the Don hath arrived. Oh, 
puzzles watching all this happen, going, what in the world is going on here? Well, we got our barricade set up. The bread seems to be working okay. But here's our real secret weapon. Grace knows what's what. Right? Yeah. Wow. Uh, once again, to quote script uh, scripture, <laughs> Shakespeare, our heads are bloodied, but unbowed. And they're here. Okay, so once again, we underestimated a lot. Well, we're still learning. Homesteading's fun. And exhausting. Yeah, <laughs> happy anniversary, baby. Yeah, happy anniversary. Yeah, no, it, it, it started out where everything was going great, and then we tested the fence, mm -hmm. and it wasn't working. Right. And then it wasn't working a second time. And, and third time. And then uh, it finally, we finally got the right combo yeah. of stuff. We figured out where it was having an issue. And um, yeah, no one was severely shocked. I, I actually tested it when it was only like partially working. Mm -hmm. And I tested it when it was, well, not working very well. Then we found the uh, actual tester after we got all the, the everything plugged in. It's working. And then those darn cows, those darn cows, they just said, you know what? No. We're not coming. Not doing it. We're not coming. No. Not going to do it. Just wouldn't be prudent. Not, not at, at this, this juncture. juncture. And uh, the black one, which is not our cow, it's actually Don's cow. Yeah. That one was fun. Yeah. It was three of us. With a lasso and a rope, and a just and and bring in the bread, and it would it didn't want the bread, didn't yeah. want the bread, and it was just like okay, you're coming with, mm -hmm. and it was kind of brute force to get it to go 50 yards, but it's done, done. and now we can have festivities, <laughs> festivities, and um, so we're gonna relax and have some fun. Yes. So with that, I'm Brad. I'm Krista. Hmm. You guys have an amazing day. Yeah, what she said.